In this video I'll be sharing with you a very simple, very easy to use stove called the Trangia stove and it's a really cool little device so let's get into it. If you're a subscriber to this YouTube channel you may have noticed that I really enjoy alternative ways of cooking and very simple ways of cooking. To me it's amazing the more I dive into the subject the more I'm amazed that it doesn't take much to take food from where it is to where you want it to be and that's cooked and all you need is some good heat and what I've ser been searching for is a very or easy ways to do that very primitive ways and I realize some of the, the the methods that I'm using this one for, for example is probably not something you use every day with your tiny house set up um, but it's it's an alternative way if you want to cook outside or if you have a very simple set up like a small camper or a super tiny tiny house that's on wheels or a teardrop <clears throat> or anything like that something like this is actually a really good alternative to the traditional way that you have probably been cooking in the past I've actually built stoves myself uh, with very simple tools like a grinder and like a one dollar iodized aluminum water bottle and those are really cool but this little stove by Trangia actually has some really cool features that I want to share with you guys first is if you'll notice right here this is a brass stove that runs off of denatured alcohol which burns super clean and super hot and what I like about this one is you can fill it up almost to the top and it has burners around the side so once it heats up that helps spread the flame evenly throughout the pot and you'll notice right here on the on the lid there's a <clears throat> a rubber seal and what that does is allow you to once once the fire's out you can once you've cooked what you need to cook you can simply stop the fire and it also comes with a simmering and what that does is whenever you're done cooking you simply throw that on top to extinguish it and that'll stop the flame or while you while you're cooking you can adjust this to simmer and keep whatever you have uh, cooking what you can keep it heated like that I've done the research on this little stove and what's amazing to me is when this thing is full which is only a couple ounces it will cook between 30 and 45 minutes and there's not many things you can that you need to cook that will take that long to cook it's considering how hot this thing per, uh, actually gets with the blue flames you'll see here in just a second so it's an amazing little device it fits in the palm of your hand and you can cook almost anything you need to to cook the food on you need a stand to keep the whatever the pan away suspended and away from the flame so what I, I've used is a um, aluminum pot that I got from a big box store Home Depot for three bucks I think it was and I just drilled holes along the side to allow air to breathe and what you do is you set that down and you put your stove inside of there and then what we'll do next and I'll show you here in a second is you put the pot on top While the pot's heating up, I thought I'd share with you guys uh, and tell you a little bit about the fuel that this little stove uses. It's called denatured alcohol. And you can actually use all kinds of alcohol with the stove, but I prefer, I prefer and recommend denatured because it burns so hot and burns so clean. But denatured alcohol is actually used on a lot of marine boats for their heater just because it's it, it burns, it, it puts out so much heat. And if you go to see, if you seek out denatured alcohol, you'll notice that it's expensive. Um, and if you buy it in small amounts but most of the big box stores and other places as well online you can buy it by the gallon for about 14 bucks and considering this to cook up to cook something only takes a few ounces you can cook a lot of meals with 14 bucks and if you do the math it's probably as cheap if not cheaper than propane on the menu tonight is a jalapeno cheddar burger and of course beer <laughs> and there you have it dinner's ready I'm personally of the belief that some technology is overrated and some is underrated this is one of the latter I think cooking simply is one of the coolest ways you can actually eat day to day thanks for watching see you on the next video